Hey everyone, Travis here on week three of the LCS with coverage brought to you by you. I'm joined right now by Jojo and also not a camera person. So if this is very blurry, that's the explanation. <laughs> uh, Jojo, you just stomped Shopify. We were talking before this. Was that boring? Was that interesting? Was it fun? What, what was it? Yeah, I got this question right after the game too. It's like, yeah. was it fun or boring? I mean, it was like a stomp. Both games they didn't really do too much. So it was kind of boring that they never made any plays to try winning. But it was kind of fun trying to like play perfect and not making any mistakes. It's like we're kind of versing bots and then we have to perfect like what we do on the map and like not make any mistakes. So that's kind of fun, honestly, yeah. just having a clean game. So it was like both. What, what do you think is the issue with Shopify? Because I do feel like they have good players, but it seems like they can't bring it together. I'm not sure. I thought their drafts, both games were very hard to play. I just thought we had really good drafts. I don't know how they could win these games if we're the better team. Um, they just didn't have prio and we had just broken mid jungle every game. So. It was kind of hard for them to play, so I feel like they're not as bad as they showed today. Yeah. But we haven't scrimmed them too much, so I don't, I don't even know their skill level too much. Um, in Korea, they weren't that bad though, so I'm not sure what happened. Maybe they just need time adjusting with Tomio, because I think Tomio is good, so yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess they have a lot of time now because we're going into this giant break. What is it like for you uh, knowing that you have this break ahead of you? I mean, it's a nice break, I guess, but it kind of sucks because TL and Fly are leaving, so there's not that many good scrim partners. I felt like it's just me or C9, TL and Fly, not me. It's just you. It's just C9, TL and Fly are yeah. like the only teams that kind of are at the top, I feel like, and I sure. feel like there's a big gap. So I don't know who we're gonna scrim, but you know, we have to try to keep keeping our form during yeah. the break. So that's what we're gonna do. You don't feel like Dig is up there? Cause I feel like they've been getting a lot of attention yeah. recently. I no? mean, Dig and scrims, like I feel like everyone knows. Dig and scrims, you don't yeah. wanna know Dig and scrims. I don't think they won a single game probably okay. the whole week. So nah. they're completely different on stage. So do you think that you all will take some time off or is it going to be still a ton of scrimming? Like, especially knowing that you don't have scrim opponents for at least the next week. Now we're definitely going to still scrim during the, cause it's like a three week break, right? Like yeah. a two week break. So we have a lot of time, maybe a couple of days off. I don't know exactly what we're doing, but I know on the schedule we're scrimming for sure. Well, today is uh, the 28th and you don't play again. Well, LCS doesn't come back. I don't know if you play on the first day, but mm -hmm. you don't play until the 20th. Damn. So there's just a giant break. Yeah. So that's why I ask, because yeah, maybe you have other things you want to do. Maybe you want to enjoy some of the Southern California Yeah, summer. I mean, we'll definitely take a break for sure. Yeah. I don't think it'll be long though. What we'll do you see. do on days that you have off? I mean, honestly, it just depends. If I feel like going out, I'll just yeah. go out, get food, maybe just go somewhere. But a lot of days I just like chilling because there's only one off day I have a week. So yeah. a lot of days I'm kind of busy. So I just like just staying at home and just relaxing. Yeah. Um, honestly, it just depends on how I feel. When you do go out, what does JoJo do when he does out? Goes out. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I mean, it's always, it's always different. Like okay. sometimes I'll go out with my teammates, or I'll just see people or my friends. It just always depends. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I just don't know if you're like, I like to go bowling, or I like to go to the beach, or hiking. I mean, bowling's or... pretty fun too. I yeah. went bowling a couple weeks ago, but okay. I haven't went bowling since. All but... right. So bowling is an, is an option. Mm -hmm. Will you be streaming at all during this time? Yeah, I'll definitely be streaming. Okay. I'll probably stream every day. Um, every day? Yeah, but there might be like maybe one day I'll miss. So if okay. I miss that day, I apologize. So in the next three plus weeks, you will only miss one day of streaming? Maybe two. Maybe I apologize two. if I miss like two or three days, but... Two or three? Yeah, I'll probably okay, stream every to day. three. Yeah. All right. So we're at three then. Because it's like an off day a week, you know, and it's yeah. like three weeks is our off day. So, if so I you stream don't want to stream week, on your off day? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, how do you enjoy streaming? Honestly, when I streamed for the first time, Lee, it was pretty fun. Yeah. But then right after I streamed, we started losing and okay. playing bad. So I feel like it's kind of a curse. And right now we're also doing good. It's like last play. In the beginning, we're doing good. And then maybe I'm going to start streaming and we'll lose again. So okay. I'll just stream maybe and see what happens if we lose. And I know what's the reason we're losing. OK. Yeah. It's the stream. The, the stream is the problem. Yeah. Uh, all right. Other than that, what have, how have you been enjoying best of threes? I really like best of threes, honestly. I thought when I heard the news, I didn't really mind too much. Yeah. Um, but now that I'm actually playing best of threes, it's really fun because a lot of games and best of ones are just like kind of a fluke or just one mistake happens and the whole game blows up. And it's also annoying because like you prepare the whole day for just one game. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's kind of boring and it's too fast. Even today was pretty fast too because we just stomped them pretty fast. But it's definitely a lot of fun because we get to like focus up on the next game or change something. Yeah. yeah. So you get to enjoy, uh, you get to enjoy having the best of threes. Mm -hmm. What has it been like with this lineup of guys? Uh, because obviously you've played with some of them for a bit now, yeah. but uh, there's at least one new player. So what is the team dynamic like behind the scenes? I mean, I feel like 
I played with Vulcan before in EG, of course, and I yeah. played Berserker and Blobber last split, so I kind of know how they play and what they think of the game. And I think just the whole team's getting way better of seeing the game the same way and knowing how we want to play. I feel like having Reaper has also really helped. I feel like he's done a really good job as a coach. And he's just really good at just making us like play the game the same way and just making the same plays and just really helping us play as a team instead of playing individually. And I think Thanatos has been, I mean, you can see the games, he's been playing really good, winning every lane, so yeah. I can't really complain so far. What are your interactions like with him? Because I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet, so I don't know much about him as a player. Yeah, I mean, he's an import, but his English is really good, surprisingly. Yeah. He's taking English lessons right now, and he can, like, basically understand everything I'm saying, so... It's not even like I'm talking to an import, you know? It's like I'm talking to someone from NA, which is kind of crazy. Well, many people around the world could speak English. Yeah, but it's like he didn't learn English until, like, last month. I know, and I he, know. Yeah. That is what's impressive. That's Whatever what's you're saying, like... Yeah. He's an import, but he can speak English. I'm like, yes, yeah. so can inspired for instance. That's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's good to hear that uh, things are going well for the team. Uh, and you were just saying that it's really miserable working with Reaper. You yeah, it's like pretty terrible. Saying. It's pretty terrible working with Reaper. I mean, yeah. he's kind of holding us back right now. Yeah. I mean, he's staring at me right now. He just came out, but like, yeah. I don't want to say in front of his face, but now that he's here. Now I'm that he's here, you'll to. just say it again. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what actually, how does he compare to uh, past coaches? Um, I feel like I was lucky in my career to work with a lot of good coaches. Like, for example, I worked with Peter Dunn when I was a rookie, and then, of course, I worked with Rigby on EG as head coach. And then last play, I worked with Mithy, who I thought was really good, too. And Reaper's definitely the top coach I worked with, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I just think the way he kind of brings the team together and the vibe he puts on the team is very... I don't know how to explain it. It's like serious, but not stressful. Yeah. So it's like we're all kind of playing our best, but we're also not too stressed at all. Yeah. Just the environment has been good in the reviews. So. That's yeah. good. All right. Well, is there, I know we're- Wait, I'm only just set. saying that because he's here right now. I don't like, really mean no, that. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah. We, I mean, we have the tape from earlier where you were saying all the <laughs> bad things, so it makes sense. Uh, is there anything you want to say to any of the fans out there? Um, I mean, I appreciate you guys for supporting us. We're playing pretty well right now, but it doesn't really matter until playoffs, so just keep on supporting us. And I think we'll definitely win the split. Awesome. Thanks so much for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. Hey guys, Drew Fawcett here. <laughs> Welcome me. Now, is it just me or does it seem like this Travis Gafford guy's got it going on? I mean, seriously, he's got new sponsors, great content, <laughs> a classy editor. <laughs> but I implore you, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Heck, if you are subscribed, why don't you become a member as well? Now, I don't mean to pressure you to make financial decisions. Trust me, we don't need it, but it'd be much appreciated. You can get exclusive content. You can get uh, a little private eye into Travis's little brain. Big brain, I should say. Guys, please, go ahead and click those links down below and have a happy, happy day.